Hello everybody, good morning. Uh, let's see the famous saying. A good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light others. Anonymous. Educating the mind without educating heart is no education at all. A truly special teacher is why sees tomorrow in every child's eyes. Please like, share and subscribe. Today, I am going to present a lesson from English for the New Millennium. This book is especially designed for B.H. first year, Bachelor in Education first year. English for the New Millennium book. Our topic is Three Dancing God. Uh, this story is brought from unit number two, uh, categorized as sort of fiction. Open the book, lesson number six, page number. Uh, this book is narrated by Baba Tringu to a group of children. It is a typical Indian folk tale. Uh, let's see the characters. Sindhu, poor but hardworking peasant, his mother in a small bamboo hut. He had a person of grazing land and two cows. Sindhu's mother, a poor widow, old lady, who had three girls which she exchanged with Sindhu's cows. Landlord, reeds having in finest land, landlord's daughter, beautiful, bought girls one by one and finally married to Sindhu, became the wife of Sindhu. Strange man, handsome boy, tried for landlord's daughter to marry but failed. Let's see the summary. The story Three Dancing Girls is narrated by Baba Tringo to the group of children. Poor but hardworking Sindhu used to live with his mother in a small hut. They had two cows and plot of grazing land near his hut. Once they happened to they faced heart problem. They had no food to eat, so looking to the cows, mother asked Sindhu to get their cows to market and sell. Sindhu met an old lady in the market whom he told all his problems and traded his cows to her in exchange of three girls and a flu as she told him that those were dancing girls and they might turn off his future. She played flute and Sindhu really saw the dancing girls. It was very pleasure and liked very much. When he got back to his mother, she didn't like it. She thought that he was looted but Sindhu was sure that girls, were, girls may change his luck. He started showing dancing girls near his area and become very famous. It was even hard to landlord's house. Next day, landlord's daughter came to him and asked to sell his girl. He wanted to sell a girl, but he begged her to bring barrel of food for his mother and she did so. One day, Landlord's daughter called Sindhu to her house and said that she could not make it dance. In the same time, a priest told that it could not dance in single. As sequence, Sindhu sold his second god to Landlord's daughter in exchange of her gold ring and a foot barrel. Again. After some time, she sent her maid to tell the masses that girls were not dancing 
and she wanted third gold and flew. So he sold his third gold in exchange. He asked for the secret of stones on the ring and a barrel of food. Landlord's daughter told him the secret of stones on the ring. She said, colors of stones matched to the three hair which were behind her black hair. One stand white, the color of the diamond. One was dark red, the color of the ruby and the next was light green the color of the emerald after selling all girls his mother got worried about getting the food but sindhu was optimistic one day landowner intended to get his daughter married but he told that only the person who could tell the color of the three hair stands hidden behind he would be able to marry his daughter. Many persons from different areas visited to landlord but failed. One day, a well-dressed, handsome man searching for a landlord's house asked Sindhu about it. Both were walking on foot, and Sindhu was speaking that if he were not a poor peasant, he would be landlord's daughter, and he told that he had known the meaning of secret in her hair. The handsome man wanted to know it, but Sindhu didn't tell him. Sindhu was assured to give lots of gives but reject it. As their plan, he got well dressed up and went there as servant of handsome boy. There were gathering of many people when Sindhu got chance he gave cancer and landlord also him as son-in-law. He opened his dress. Then all the people there present were surprised and they said, an era of destiny. But Sindhu corrected them and said, this is a dream of faith, love and passion. So, the pair married and lived happily ever after hmm. uh, there is a question important question explain the meaning of three different colored stones shed in the ring important question from this uh, this is the story uh, summarized in simple language let's see three dancing girls unit 2 short fiction lesson 6 page number 39 uh, Baba Trinku is telling this story to the group of children in India the main character of this story is Sindhu. He is poor, hardworking, uh, lives with his mother in a small bamboo hut. Uh, they are rearing two cows. Uh, Sindhu's mother, uh, she is a widow. Uh, Sindhu meets an old lady in the market uh, who gives three girls or exchange three girls with his 
two cows, a landlord, rich man in his village, then landlord had a daughter, and finally uh, there is a strange man. Uh, gives him well dresses this is the summary of story three dancing birds Thank you.